welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna show you how we go and edit using PixArt. Alright, so first of all, we are going to open PixArt and we're just going to start off by choosing the picture we want to edit. First of all, I had this picture down there, so I'm just going to click on the image, click on the image, and then like save it so it's be the first thing to appear on my page. Just click on the arrow and save it. So now I'm going to go back and uh, I'll have to start editing. Now, first of all, I have to take a picture from the web of a bald girl, and then I just had to carve out her hair. Uh -huh. I'm just going to edit that and then uh, replace it. And then fix it where I want it to be. Yeah, right there. Um, then I'm just going to reduce uh, and increase saturation just to make the hair blend very well. I play with that little button over there, reduce hue and the temperature just to make sure everything is in a nice position. Then when i'm done i just have to click on the good button yeah that's fine that check button and then click on eraser and uh, erase the unnecessary part make sure i reduce my blending mode for the brush so it will be perfect it's just blended so i'm just going to do that this place is really 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 uh i don't even know the word just know the word to describe this out uh shit. well so i'm just going to use the eraser tool and then just clean since that is what we are doing, we're just gonna clean uh, just to remove the white edges. And yeah, I used uh, the uh, other the restore to brush in the eraser, still in the eraser section. I use the restore to to regain uh, the to get back, like to reverse what I've done initially. No, there's no fine like she has okay good that that is it. I just have to erase it. And yeah, this other side of the head is uh giving me troubles. So I'm just going to play around there, but you have to blend yours perfectly and yeah, just take my time. So the next step, what I'm going to do is to refill the other side of the head. I have to duplicate this layer I'm working on, which I'm going to do now. Just click on that layer button, duplicate, and yeah, it's a little bit messy, but I just have to clean it and uh, yeah, fix, replace, just to make sure the head looks round, not like some uh, egg broken, broken eggshell. So I'm just going to erase, use the eraser tool mostly to join and remove so i just have to clean all this unnecessary part i don't need please don't be afraid to use the undo button you can also use restore to regain what you lost uh, what, what you cleaned initially so you make sure you blend i duplicated this layer so i don't have to blend again you know it's stressful to blend to get the same color you have to look zoom out look zoom out but i don't want that so i just have to work with the same picture can see we've got on this other side of the head we have to duplicate again but in this case i think duplication didn't work right i had to like uh right yeah i think it's it's gonna work so i i just have to clean and clean it up make sure it's round and then i have to increase i have to increase uh i have to reduce uh is it reduce i have to reduce the brightness of this part so it will blend i think so it will make make it look like a shadow or something so you can see this white line coming out but i have to blend it so make it look like shadow so i have to go to my settings again and uh, reduce this but for now i'm just going to clean this when i get the perfect shape i need then i'll move up to adjust and then Use the brightness. You can see that place is looking darker. It's just like she's leaning on, and then there's a shadow there. It's just gonna clean it. The ways and just explain this place. I'm just gonna blend it. Yeah, this takes a lot of time. If you want it, want it to be uh, perfect, you have to take time to do this. 
Yup, that being said, we're done with that part. So we have to like edit this hair now. This uh, section is for the hair. How am I going to do that? I'm just going to click on the image and then zoom right in. Just pick a little details from the uh, window. Yeah, and so I'm going to use that stick and then place over the head. Reduce the uh, opacity and then just clean. Picks are mostly about cleaning if you are editing something, so you just clean everything out and then I just go inside and trace. Yeah, just like that. Now, mind you, I'm doing this with the uh, opacity, which I later increased, and I'm just gonna clean. You can see what I'm doing. Yeah, cool, right? You just have to keep on cleaning, keep on cleaning. Make sure you leave no strand untouched. 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 Untouched! <laughs> you just have to clean every damn thing. Clean. Clean. Clean again. Clean again. You just keep cleaning. You just keep cleaning. You just keep. You just keep cleaning. Clean. Clean again, again, and 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 again. You keep cleaning. You select another layer. You use the uh, the, the uh, less lasso tool. They call it lasso tool on Photoshop. One picture. I don't even know what that. But yeah, it's still lasso tool. So just select this area. Make sure you pay attention to details, man. So you just select the areas you know you can replace. It's a brain work. You just have to use your head. Make sure you fix everything and clean again. Just like that. And clean, clean, clean again, clean again, clean, clean. I don't know. I've said like 1,000 and clean again in this video i think you should get the point now pixar is about cleaning and cleaning and i'll hold up i think we're done here what the hell this is beautiful like this is perfect man trust me we are done with our bald model she is looking cute well that's it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel stop watching like a creep subscribe now thank you